summary what I will talk about. Uh, I mainly talk about the uh, in context of ADSFT. Uh, ADSFT roughly say is just a gravity on um, ADS and the two to CFT on um, some uh, space, but this is not necessarily right. And uh, there are some checks in the symmetry matching and also parameter matches uh, between these two theories. And uh, specifically uh, we will discuss for ADS3 and the CFT2. Uh, the central charge of the CFT is related to the uh, moving constant in the gravity, and the R is the radius of uh, ADS space. Uh, here we usually assume that in classical limit, the C is uh, to infinity, uh, or you call it to uh, G is to zero. Uh, another uh, concept is the geometry in ADS. Uh, it is packed to give some state in CFT. Uh, we know that the geometry is a classical one. So uh, we mainly want to start this question with the easy true for every state. Uh, we will use the, the entanglement uh, to uh, answer this question, or touch to answer this question, uh, because entanglement is very useful con uh, concept to understand this. Uh, it is because that uh, the entanglement, uh, some, some entanglement measures is expected to have the geometry curve. Uh, correspondence in ADSFT. Uh, I briefly discussed the definition. Maybe this is not called definition, it's just uh, uh, um, what we call the geometry state. We just mean that the geometry state is in the ADSFT. If a state has a classical geometric uh, description, we will call this state the geometric state. Uh, it is fact that not all the states in the CFT should have the classical geometry. Uh, we have some simple arguments. The first is that the dual CFT is a quantum system, so uh, maybe there are some large quantum fluctuation uh, for some state. So, uh, as, as the dual classical geometry, we can produce the fluctuation. Uh, the second argument is that uh, if one of the states is uh, due to some classical geometry. Then, uh, because it is quantum, so in CFT we have a superposition, but uh, in the uh, in the bulk we had to imagine how to super to classical geometry. Uh, the last one is that for most, uh, uh, for many uh, quantum systems, uh, we can find some classical uh, state than others. For example, we all know that the quantum harmonic oscillator, the component state is just uh, the classical state because it uh, uh, you can see that uh, it uh, has many more uncertain relation and also follow the classical equation of motion. Uh, we will use the entanglement and the ring entropy to uh, discuss this question. Uh, I will briefly uh, summarize the definition and the calculation of the uh, uh, entanglement and ring entropy in CFT. Uh, First, we should uh, define the reduced uh, density matrix of some subsystems. Here, B is just uh, the complementary of A. Uh, for some, we just consider the species like region. Here, rho is uh, the state of the system. Even rho is uh, Q, then the rho A may be also a mixed state. The really entropy is defined like this one. This tree is rho A over uh, N uh, is the one that we want to calculate. If we know the ring entropy and the entanglement entropy just as a limit, uh, usually when we calculate this part, we just uh, use the replay card trick to get this one. Uh, there are two ways to understand this, uh, this, this part. Uh, one is uh, considered as the parting fraction of range fractions on the n-sheet uh, Riemann surface with some similarity and boundary. Or equally, we can consider as a parameter uh, on uncoupled CFT but with some two-star beta. Uh, two-star beta is at the boundary of the, of the subsystem A. Uh, instead of that, we can use the OBE to calculate the uh, 
twist arbiter relation. Uh, I don't have enough time to discuss all this one. You just know that this is some uh, quasi primary operator that will appear in the twist operator. This is the operator on the CFTN, not just the original CFT. And uh, this decay is related to the Rigolica index. And uh, here, here is, the, is the constant defined by this one. And uh, uh, so in this, in this uh, uh, OB explanation, we just we can come to the level of L uh, to uh, this level of L is the one is related to the conformal dimension of this plus parameter operator. Another one is related to the partial of this on this uh, plus parameter operator. So this one is uh, we need to calculate that is unknown. And uh, this one usually we can uh, run over all the plus parameter operator in this in this series. Uh, I show some example. For example, at the order zero, this is uh, this is equal to zero. We only have identity operator and. Uh, Order two, we have the strength and tensor. This G is just a replica uh, index. Here is a four. Four level, we have a new operator uh, defined by normal ordering of G. Uh, so in a summary, it's just that we want to calculate the initial B. It's just a transfer to calculate the expansion value of the cross parameter operator. There are also some way to calculate the holograph entanglement of ring entropy. But the basic assumption is that uh, uh, the state should have some geometry. Then you can use this holographic uh, calculation. Here is that there are some purposes of, uh, for the holographic entanglement entropy. Well, it is known as a formula. It is just uh, uh, can be calculated by the minimal surface of in the bulk. And the here G is just the, the constant. And the, there are some proposals of Dongxi uh, on the holograph ring entropy. Here it defined and refined the uh, ring entropy. It also related to the uh, cos cosmic brain in the bulk. Uh, here is the uh, tension of the brain related to the index of. And uh, you just uh, need to know is that here this is uh, all related to the 1 over G, or equally to the C over C, so it is uh, uh, the classical limit that I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, so let's start with the ge geometry states. Well, let's first uh, argue, uh, have uh, discuss some argument from holography. The basic idea is just to compare some quantities that we can both calculate and if uh, this student to exist. We want to find some state, have some geometry, and uh, we choose the geometry curve quantities such as the entanglement entropy or ring entropy. Uh, uh, for I guess three, this uh, is very simple for the vacuum Einstein equation. In, it is just the Banando matrix. I like this one. This L is de de determined by this uh, <coughs> this equation. This this is the expanded value of the uh, stress energy tensor uh, for some state row in the in the in the CFT. Uh, so we can see that uh, if the state CFT is just the order C of the strength and tensor expanding value. Now we can see that L rho is just the uh, order <coughs> one of C, and uh, you can the matrix uh, in this is just uh, independent of the C in the large state limit. So uh, when you calculate the entanglement entropy or ring entropy, this is all order C. So you will get that the entanglement entropy and the uh, ring entropy must be. See, this is just a simple argument. Um, we, we can use the CFT calculation in this one. It's very complex, but uh, I just summarized the uh, result. Result is just uh, we get some country on the plus primary operator. This is the operator that appears on the V uh, of the twist operator. Uh, this is uh, level 2, level 6, uh, level 4, level 6. Uh, uh, you can see that at the leading order, they are determined by the expanding value of T. Uh, but the hang of the may be maybe related to other parameters. And but the leading order is just uh, determined by the expanding value of T. Uh, if we just use the entanglement entropy, we will get uh, uh, the same same, uh, same result as the first uh, two. Uh, but when we consider high order of the expansion of the OPE of this operator, we will get more constraints. 
but this one is enough to. Why your T does not have a beta? This one? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you have beta in your in your first inequality in position ten? The actual functions of the C zero. Oh. Okay. This one. Okay. It is one all all the uh, arbitrary fractions of C zero. Uh, so uh, this is the, the readout we get, and we can use it to check my, many examples. For example, the small state uh, uh, member can uh, small state uh, just satellites because uh, we can know even exactly exactly. Uh, another example is the primary state, uh, like this one. Is this component dimension is the other See? And uh, we can check that the reading should be just as the uh, four form correlation fractions on CMT and, and it's known that T is like this form. So uh, it satisfies all the constraints that we may expect. And uh, the graph do we expect to be ADS with a defect uh, in ADS. And another is uh, we call it coherence, maybe not a good name, but either like this form. And then it can be described by the moon particle in the S. All satisfy the constraints that we get. But there are some examples that is not satisfied. And for example, the super Berlin state, as uh, the first argument I mentioned, it is either calculated, it is not zero. So this is a very, uh, very, very good example to show the constraint is very strong. And uh, some also are some descendant state like this one. Uh, this problem dimension is the other C, but this uh, level of descendant is not asking to be other C. If it is uh, order one without either all valuation of all the constraints that we get, uh, here is the first primary that we find. Uh, we can also discuss some mystical states. Uh, for example, the macro can be in some states. Uh, this result we can get from the from the canonical uh, ensemble state by some uh, inverse the Laplace transformation. And here is some views of this transformation, and then we can get defined the uh, expected value of the operator for several algorithms, and then we get uh, this two result, and then it can be checked that it satisfies the. Or Another useful example is the thermal state. Uh, we can uh, compare the canonical and the macrocanonic uh, thermal state. And uh, we uh, consider the intensity is, uh, uh, is uh, constant and uh, uh, related to the beta. We can, uh, for sub small subsystem, their difference is just uh, uh, surprised by the pair. And uh, for large system, we also recently got that their difference is all, at most the order C. Uh, because uh, in, for internal neutrality, it's just uh, this is the mutual information, so it is uh, order zero. Uh, the ensemble orage, uh, I want to study the macro canonical orage. Uh, the descendant state of all the hinges domain the in this limit. But the macro canonical ensemble satisfies geometric country and the, the descendant balance. So the descendant state we consider are, uh, there are some possible that. Uh, to explain this is that just the business state we can see a special or that as an ensemble variety just erase the difference uh, I prefer the first, uh, the second one but this is still unsolved I see. and uh, this is uh, some comment from the quantum classical it is, uh, can be seen as the fluctuation in the first order and uh, I briefly summarize this because uh, the entanglement of space time uh, there are some two other argument is that if the state is no entanglement, then and it will be a trivial space time. And uh, if a space entanglement is different than space time region is uh, uh, no entanglement, then the space is disconnected. This is an uh, argument from others, it's from Kanaki, it's from uh, uh, uh So this we can understand this that it is too classical, so it has no proper classical geometry. Our result is that if the entanglement is too large, then there is also no proper classical graph description. Uh, so, but we still don't know how to describe this data. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, in your study, can you consider CFP state with the person? It is. It is black hole. I think if you like, we just.
as the macro canonical example state. Uh, it's a canonical uh, example state. Just the item right now, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it, I think it's due to the canonical example state. But uh, for the macro canonical example state, but we you can no, you can see the difference between the entanglement entropy. But uh, when you say if you see the ring entropy, you will see their difference is an order C. Because when uh, when n is now equal to one, this mutual information is order C. So for ring entropy there are some difference. I, I'm not mm -hmm. sure why or how, how this difference uh, appear. Maybe uh, these two example just perform different boundary conditions. But the metric is the same. Let's do this again.